So this is my attempt, uh, first try, at um, a little steam engine, uh, McCabe's runner, um, similar to what lid motor just did. Um, what I was trying is um, see if I could get hardware parts um, that would go together without a lot of trouble to make a little engine. And there's a alternator under the flywheel. It's made out of oak, um, one and a half inch brass fittings, um, some sheet metal. Um, it still takes it still takes more machining and work than I'd like, but it does run. Um, I, I'm just using little hardware magnets. They're not real strong magnets, but uh, I'll show you what it does. That's not just uh, 4 PSI or so. on this steam engine, this is a really interesting valve, that's supposed to be a nail, and um, it's the pressure differential between inlet and exhaust that actually makes this little engine work. So that really, that right there should be a nail, and I was kind of going with the typical, you know, slide valve. Um, but that's the exhaust, and you can't restrict that. That has to be a really open exhaust. So right now, um, it's like a, a piston valve, a little slide valve, but I had to cut away a lot of material to let that exhaust out. So it's an interesting little motor. Um, there's a port right there that goes through the head into the cylinder. And I'm using, um, I'll have to try it with steam, but I'm using a little PVC three quarter inch cap in there for a piston. And it's a nice fit. And that was kind of my creation. I can do a better job, but really I just need a little arm that comes from the main crank over here and picks up the valve. There's very little valve travel if you watch the center. You can see my little pencil mark. Very little valve travel. I tried a couple of different holes. But it's a it's an interesting motor. I think with better magnets under here, um, this could be a 12 volt charger. This really is just an experiment for me to learn how to, how this works.